y'all, it's Kelly again, and I'm here to finish up the decoration on my chandelier that I've already posted this, um, how I got to this point with my ch chandelier, and I will, um, have that in the comments section. I will have that there so you can go back and look at that video, and I'm just so excited. What I'm going to do now is I've got some crystal beading here and I'm going to do use that and um, some other crystal pieces so I just wanted to show you how I, I went ahead and did this um, the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make some looping and so I measured out um, actually I counted all the spindles in my wind, um, wagon wheel and um, made it every two oh, spindle so it came out to where I've got six I'll have six loops so this and I just kind of eyeballed um, each section so I'll show you how I'm going to do that I, I went ahead and I just I'm using thumbtacks so I went ahead and I put the thumbtacks up at the top of the chandelier because I want them to kind of drip off of it so I just went ahead and put the thumbtacks already on and where I measured out and um, I kind of measure where how far I want it to hang down and I'm guessing about there okay and about the same here yeah okay let me get that hooked And I wanted to use thumbtacks um, because I thought that would be the easiest thing because uh, I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to place the, the crystals. So I thought I'd just start out with thumbtacks and see how they worked and they seem to be working really well I don't have them all the way in um, I, I wanted to go ahead and find where I wanted the things placed and then that beating, um, then I'll go back and tap them in to hold them in place securely okay All right, I think that's about, let me take a look and see how that looks. Okay, I think I like that. It, it's going to see a, seem a little off at first just because of the placement of the lights aren't going to kind of correspond with the, with the draping, but I think it's going to, hopefully it'll turn out really good. Um, so, um, I got to that point and I need to go ahead and take off this section. I just wanted to make sure I had enough beading. So I'm going to take this section off. Okay, and then I'll tap those down to secure those. And, um... So, and then we're going to go with the next layer, so bear with me and we'll get busy on that. I'm going to go ahead and tap these down. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all. Um, now, the next thing I decided to do is I wanted to do another set of uh, loops, but I wanted them to hang um, lower and more inside of the chandelier. So, what I did is I went on every other spindle. Um, if you decide to use just a like a sheet of wood or you know circular piece or whatever shape you would probably have to measure this out but since I have the spindles um, it was easier for me to figure out um, the same distance between each um, uh, loop that I would need to create so um, I went ahead and put some more uh, tacks in and let me show you 
let's see what this looks like. I'm going to go ahead and kind of judge. I wanted them to hang about, let's go up a little bit higher. Um, yeah, about there. So I'm going to put that. Okay, and you go around to this other side, it'll be easier to get to. Okay, and then I just kind of judge that, and for my next let's do about six five. And I need for my next one. All right. And and I can always adjust them if they look out of place or not the same length. But so far, I think it looks pretty good. All right. And the next one. Okay. I'm going to have to pull this through so it hangs better. I wanted to use tags because um, I wanted to be able to move them without too much of a problem. Let me get some more crystals. I just love these crystals because they just, it feels like glass. And then my last one, I need some more crystals. to go back to where I started. I'm going to come find my thing. Okay, about there. I'm going to come back. I'm going to go ahead and yeah, take the rest of these off. Bear with me just one more minute, please. pretty okay now um let me figure out where i want to go from here so i will bring you back here in the next clip thank you okay and this is my third um part to this um design so, and this is my own design, I didn't, I'm just making this up as I go. What I've decided to do is just leave um, six strands long, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, where um, like this comes together, I'm going to hang one from there, whoops, so I'm going to hang one, whoops, let me get here in the middle, off of each one I'm going to hang a single strand that hangs straight down. Okay. And let me do the rest. I'm going to do that to each one of them. I 
I think these tacks are going to hold really well. I want to have that so it kind of... Okay. And... Get that some more. And then I've got one more thing I'm going to add to it. And then I think that is going to be be it. Okay. I just wanted to be able to have it, um, I wanted to bring, bring it down just a little bit. Oops, I'm going to need one more string. Um, to kind of, because I want it to work without making like loops. I wanted, um, another like layer um, because I have that, that very last jar down here at the bottom. Uh, let me get one more strand. Okay. And i got to take some of this off. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how much I need. I just eyeballed all of this, so... It truly is a DIY. Uh, DIY. <laughs> My husband and I did this. We didn't have any directions or anything. We just kind of winged it. All right. And so that'll be my six hanging down. And the last thing I'm going to do is I have these pieces that I found also on Amazon. These other crystals, they are gorgeous. And I think I'm going to hang one of these up at each of the single strands. So let me do that and then I will show you the whole thing. Okay. Oh, this makes me happy. This is my happy place. And to be able to share it with you all. I love it. My daughters, uh, they were the ones that talked me into doing a YouTube channel. And I was like, nobody's going to want to watch an old lady. But, well, I don't feel that old. You know, the 50s are the new 40s, I guess that's what they say. <laughs> so... So, and age is just the number. Okay, I've got two more. I think this is turning out really pretty. Let's see. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'll get my camera. And I hope you can see this. It's kind of, I'm in my, um, my original craft room and of course I've got it packed full of stuff um, until I can get them to the new part of my craft room so it might be it's maybe hard to see with all this other stuff going around but I want to kind of show you it's really hard to see with all this other stuff I'm going to um, see how it looks at the bottom. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the light off and let you see it here. And then I'm going to probably take it into where we've been working because I want to show you um, what we've done in there this weekend. And I'll bring this in there so it'll be easier to see. But let me go ahead and turn the light off. Let me get over here. Bear with me. Sorry, I hope I'm not making anybody dizzy. Okay, my dog is barking out there. Okay, let's go. Okay, and let me turn it on. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, and here it is. Now... Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it into my 
uh, my expansion and I'll hang it up it'll be a lot easier to see and then you can also see um, that we've got um, some of the walls up so exciting all right well, I'll be right back all right and here it is my craft room and this is without the lights on but tell me please comment below and let me know if you think I should add some more uh, sequence or you know the little the little pieces of crystal I know it's not real but um just let me know what you think if I think if I should add any more and while we're in here I want to show you we have all the ceiling done and that much of the wall and so hopefully we can get the rest of the drywall up next weekend start mudding it I know it's been a long process and I appreciate y'all um, hanging in there with me um, but it's coming together it's been my husband and I both work through the week so we've only had the weekends and with family um, we haven't been a we've had a lot of family um, uh, like birthday parties and things like that so um, we've been really really busy but we we work here whenever we have a minute but let me turn on the light and then I want to <coughs> I'm also I'm gonna post a picture of it with the other lights off but here it is with the lights on in here let me get over here so I love it. I wish you could see it in person. Um, like I said, my husband up here at the top. Uh, we're going to put a box up there to hide that those wires. But um, I wish you could see it in person. It is so much prettier in person. Um, this it just doesn't do it justice. I'm gonna get back here and see if see if I can get you that picture okay and that is my DIY chandelier I love it and it's gonna be in this room I'm thinking uh, with because I in my mind I've already been trying to arrange things and I think I want to put it in this corner right here we have to have a panel for electric right there but I think I want to hang it in that corner um, so anyways but let me know if you think I need more crystals on that or if it's if it's enough okay and um, I'll also um, you'll also see with the lights out thank you for watching and please subscribe uh, comment I'd love to hear from you and let me know what you think of my uh, my videos thank you